Good. Appropriate time of the day to you, friends and enemies. I am not visible on the screen. Why are you not working again, camera, when I switch the things? There we go. I am now here, and you can see me, and I am Richard, and you can hear me as well, right? Yes, that's excellent. So I am Richard, and this is LMTD DMFFR, or, say it with me now, a limited time offer, no vowels. And how are you all doing today? I'm doing well, thank you very much. Very relaxing weekend where I didn't stream at all and should have done. But there we go. Can't have everything. Well, I can't do anything else. Can't think of anything exciting to tell you. So let's just flip on over to the game. And yeah, come on, game. Are you there? Yes, you can see, but you cannot hear. Now, well, welcome, welcome. How far into it? As you can see, I am building it up right now. But, you know, I have played one uh, session of it before and have rescued, or I found the, um, uh, the guy who was on the hollow world with all of the, um, the anglerfish. So I don't know, you know, how good that is. I mean, how far into it that is. I didn't have time to go through the thing that was at the end that he was talking about because time looped before I got there. But still, there we go. So let's find out what exciting things are going on here. Finish the last little bit of load and move out of the way. Arrow that is right in the front of your face. Alright, and there goes the thing. It's interesting that that goes off in different directions every time. It's not the same thing every time. Alright, quick. Ah! Up, enter the launch codes. Get us out of here. One second. It would be sort of a spoiler to explain that thing. Yes. It's your funny thing to do. Is it a five or you get to the loop part? I did. I absolutely did that. Not intentionally, I just jumped into the water place to, like, um, where they were doing, um, when, uh, where you can land the model. You can land it on top of the, the, uh, the well coverings, and I jumped into the geezer that was uncovered, just to see what was down there, and died in me, and died through drowning. So, you know, good job me. Oh. Keep pressing the wrong button. Alright. Out into the atmosphere. Now, where are we going today? Was it Brittle Hollow? Was that the one? No, Dark Bramble. That was the one where we've been to. Um, it was... I got transported somewhere. I can't remember where it was. And it's not marked on here. Alright. Oh, not that. Out of here. No, out. No. Oh, oh screw you. Alright, we'll be upside down and dead, etc. No, let me go up. Well, I launched into, you know, the atmosphere. I thought I was... You know, like, far enough away to be away from the gravity of this planet, but apparently not. Right. I keep pressing the wrong key. Oh my god, am I never going to be able to un work out the unbuckle key for this thing? Right. Here we are. Right. 
Next camp. I signal oh, okay, Berg takes us to the Southern Observatory. Ah, yes, that is where we were trying to get in last time, which is on. Where is it? Wait, why are you not? Oh, because. Right, that is why I'm having problems. Because this controller has the switch controls. Yeah, the B and the A aren't where they usually are. And every game that I play, I have to go. Aha! You need to switch them around. But nope, not on here. On here, it's actually gone. Ah, uh, you're using a controller that's set up for the switch. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want translator, freeze time. Yeah, I'm good. Wait, freeze time while talking to others? I thought I had that ticked. Well, there we go. Alright, and... No? Are you not... Marked? Yes, I signal locator. There it is. There, that way. It's on the moon, right? I also have the expansion, so yes, I also need to play that, but, you know, I don't know. I've looked at a guide that says how to trigger it, and when to trigger it, and I know I, as a first-time player I'm not meant to trigger it until right near the end, so that is all I know about it. Oh! Oh, I need to be... no, not that. Nope, not scouts. That's what I was looking to do. Right? Yeah. Lock on. Oh! Screw you, we'll just engage to hold. Right. Then, oh. Oh, let's not go into the sun, eh? Oh, screw it. This is a disastrous run. Let's just go into the sun. Maybe this time we won't crash and die horribly. You know that's going to happen anyway, right? I just wish I could skip that bit. <gasps> Pow! Off it goes in a different direction. You know, one day I could follow it, but today is not that day. Yeah. No, not room, room, room and entry. Give me... Oh, no, let's just get out there and then do it. Buckle up. We go into the. Oh, I signal locator is still. Oh, okay. No. Put a hollow, thank you. Right. Velocity of matched of. Put a hollow. There it is. Now forwards. As fast as you can to get there. And then 
trying to slow down. Oh well. Any walk, anything you can walk away from. Hey. Oh no. Have I completely destroyed my? My ship is done. Alright, where do I need to repair? Oh. Alright, well, there we go. Well, that was great. Two deaths, immediately. I didn't know you could split your, uh... I didn't know you could split your spaceship in half. Alright, now I know that. Take that one. Now just get us to follow. Right. Are you not tagged? Okay. not as quickly as you think. Well, we didn't explode this time, so I'm taking that as a win. Right. Now, how do I get in? I need to find... Unidentified signal nearby. Really? Ah, well, there we go. All right, well. Thank you, White Hole, wherever you spat me out. Miles away. Alright, well, White Hole, I'd like to go forwards, if I can. Back into the Black Hole, will that allow me? Or back into the White Hole? Nope. So I am lost here in outer space. I can't get my ship back. I can get over to this. Oh, which is where I think I was last time. When we ended. Yeah, this looks familiar. I'm coming at it from the wrong end, though. No? Oh my god. Stupid thing that doesn't... Just need to find the way in. There it is. Just go forward. Down a bit to try and get into that thing. There we go. Now you will. Yep. 
we'll get in there and then there will be stuff. Cool. And there's walking things. Go down. Gravity! Now I can't remember whether I read that one or not. Oh, I can't put it in there. Alright. I am at the up. This is... Presumably that needs to be turned until... Okay. Untranslated. Nope. Translate. Welcome to White Hole Station. If you fell here through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. A warp tower will turn you to the Brutal Hollow. Okay. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. The tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brutal Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during the alignment to be warped. Okay. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. So this must be the warp that I'm standing on. Okay, and I need to make sure that aligns so that I can go back. Now presumably I can't actually go up anywhere. Nope, I'm right here. This is the top layer. Down we go. Oh, hello. Leave you there for a moment. Why? Can I get you into this hole? Yes. And now you're realigning to something. Hmm. Well, I haven't been able to find anywhere to... No, stay, stay in that hole. Stay in there, the realigning thing. Right, now I never look at you. Set me up. Right, are you aligned to something then? I don't know what I'm doing with this in between projection stone. Well, there's nowhere for it to go around here. Oh, okay, now that's rotating. It's telling me it's on, is it? Okay. And it's telling me it's going to go to Brittle Hollow. Okay. So where did the other one go? Hey there. I'm looking up. Yes! Here I am! Ah, at the top. Okay, awesome. I vaguely know where this is. Oh, I don't know if I've translated this. Turn what's this charge, step on the walk, return to 84. Okay, what about the top one? I want to... There we go. Arrival departure. Okay, so that's what you were doing before. Okay, fine. But does that mean there's another one? If I'll just spare jetpack fuel. So I just slip across the planet if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. Check with my little scout. I don't need to use it. Oh, if I was your burnt marshmallow. My scout's integrity or anything said that this piece of brittle world is as stable as any, but who knows? If you're still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this, no, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. Alright. Oh. oh, I wanted to. There we go. The hanging city below fifty meters. Okay. Oh, but I can't get down there because something has broken it. Okay. Go. 
Hey, that giant thing that was hanging in the sky. Oh. Nope, don't remove the soil translate. Too close to translate it. Okay. Oh. Favorite run of the game before your person was doing 100% general run without using any ships. Apparently, just using the camera gun can give you enough momentum to leave the atmosphere of the first planet. Wow, impressive. Never would have thought of that. You enjoy your sleep. All right, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White House Center on the other side of the Brittle Hollow. Black holes, our destination work, we successfully created warp travel. Awesome. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. It's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I did it on accident. I don't know how close it is to Anna's original design, but as long as we've built, as long as what we built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Casanova, I hope you're reading this. Casanova? Casanova. There we go. I was going to say. Wait, that can't be correct. Clary, have you? Seeing these readings, if they're accurate, then they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm going to the White Hole Station. If you can route meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Casper. Alright, okay. Remove the scroll. Thank you, ship log. Drop the scroll. Put this in here. Oh, it doesn't fit. All right, okay. Go back in then. We'll see if there's anything else around here we can find. Ah, there's a thing where you will fit. I might have already seen you. You might be in multiple places. Oh. So this is what I can see on there. Oh. Okay, but if I step out of the area, then I can no longer see it. Okay. So what happens if I put it in this one? Ah, it produces dialogue up here. Oh, yeah, I reviewed the records you sent. Folk and they appear to show Normandy. Normandy? Normandy? Are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Alright, alright, Romy, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Romy arrive at Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the tele? The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding the universe. And we would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. But as Pi has, is confident the reading is inaccurate, it's kindly helping to attempt to recreate this formula at the high energy layer or design experiment to take more data. An update poke the high energy lab is in the canyon on Amber Twins Equator. Come here at once, you need to see this. I understand it's exceptionally odd, but Harry and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warms. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandths of a second. You suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Ship log updated. That's right. Is that something I would have learned had I paid enough attention at the... What are you doing, Dad? Alright. That's something I would have learned over at the other place. Over here. There we go. Yes. If I'd looked at the numbers, I thought it was just, you know, flavor text saying, hey, numbers. But no. Alright, nothing in this game is flavor text. Understood. learned the wrong lesson, but hey. 
Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it shift in the light spectrum? Oh, it's quantum moon. Just this moon is too shy to show us its face. We've already got the quantum rocks that were back at the museum thing. I'm interested in your playful mood. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Now imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. They can exist. There can exist too much lava. That's why we prefer we test the null hypothesis. We can, there can exist too little lava, yeah. This moon isn't volcanic to my own aided eye. Sometimes it leaves its friends hollow lantern for nights at a time. Like the moon circles, this planet appears random. It seems like it travels as it likes. Okay, we've translated all of that. Ship log updated. Alright, I'm not sure where I'll be able to find any uh, oxygen. Not sure if it's worth doing anything else on this run. Oh, I bet there's oxygen at the um, equator. Unidentified signal nearby. Oh! Hello! Are you quantum? Right. Yes! Tower shard. Yeah, there we go. If I look away. Yep, you've disappeared. Alright, okay. That was probably. I you know, probably could have gone in there, which would have been good. You know. I'm looking to go down. Oh, you're back again. Alright, okay. Not sure what that means. Oh, hey. Nope. Oh. If there's a photo of you... Do you always stay in the same place? Because you're only there when you're being observed. Alright. Right. Long scout. I think that's part of that. It's not me. Alright, so now. Yes. You're being observed. Aha! Alright, well the surface is going to break up soon anyway. I'm going to die horribly, but... But I'm going to try and get up there and translate that. Before I do. Problem was, I used too much thrust last time. There we go. Translations. I mean, Felix and I have determined this is a typical shard of the rock is reasonable is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this grove are related. Now, I note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originating from this planet? Hypothesis, the quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shot. Curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. Alright. I also heard the same signal from this shot. I have also heard the same signal this shot produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Earth, and the Hourglass Winds. I suppose there are other shards like this one. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with that knowledge. Okay, so I can anchor it here by taking a photo of it. I mean, presumably it doesn't go away when I look up. No, okay, so let's recall the scout. No, you're still here. Alright, but if I walk off and turn around, now you're gone. Yeah, alright, okay. I get you. Right, 
that's where I want to get into. Which oh, more writing. And you can fit lies the tower of quantum knowledge. Prepared to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. Knowledge will knowledge held within this will help you on your journey. Alright, okay. I'm not sure how to get down there. But now I know there's a place. The trees are moving. The tree in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant root and all. This is not normal, even for alien plants. I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnessed this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain may be. Well, I mean, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area. Don't that unusual shard of rock moving in the same area manner. Well, seen that. The rock is unusual for another reason too. That it possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. You know where that is. Hypothesis, this rock shard presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing the other objects to also move about? Bloom is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alright. You're back again. Oh, do you... reappear at those places? No. Oh, you were over there. Now you're back. Now you've gone away. Now you're over there. Now you're... Uh, now you're over there. Okay. So I don't know what causes you to go in where it should... where it is. Why... why do you... Why did you suddenly tell me to launch a scout? Alright, well, I'm gonna die here. Can push the button to get you out. I don't even know where my ship is. Are you going to smash into it? Cool. Ship. There it is. 500 and... Oh, is it falling down? Did it fall into... I don't want to go in the black hole. Oh no, you're just on the surface. Up. Did I get pulled into the white hole? Yep, alright. 50% fuel remaining. Well, I mean, I don't think that matters. Can I go back in? Not let me in this time. Hmm, interesting. Is there not enough matter for you to send me in? Alright, looks like I'm going to die in the middle of deep space then. Well, I suppose I could use you again. Velocity matched. Oh! Alright, well, I'm in. Okay, oxygens. Alright, so let's just go and move the... Move the ball this time. And move it to the other side and see where that seems to be doing a thing. Come on, out, up, around the area. Ha! Huh. Is that representative of here then, is it? That would seem, or is it not working at all now because the place is, is all gone? Yeah, okay, it's not aligning with anything now. 
There's no exciting noises there. I mean, you're still turning. So what happens when I stand on here and we go to Brittle Hollow? Gonna transport me? Yep. I'm still in here. Okay, this is good. I'm still this place is still intact. Now where's my ship? just gonna die. I've spent enough time faffing around that but I'm out of time here. Hey look! Yeah, fuel level critical, that's fine. Because now refill there we go. What did I learn on this journey? Alright, so there are quantum signals elsewhere. Alright, that's exciting. So, let's start with this. An RMI on Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that will sometimes appear in the sky. The North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in ice and snow. There is a uniquely shaped gnome ruin on the surface. Now we were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Every warp tower is turned into a specific astral body. I would love to have been able to scroll that text. I can't. Oh, okay, it's reversed. Every time we warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use the tower, you must. Standing at the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. No, oh, I noticed something strange. Warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they depart at the White Hole Station. This negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. And oh, I was skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. I think you can. And I think that it might be integral in solving this puzzle or I might be being warped back on a on a larger scale that might be what's being happened here negative time interval measured at the White Hole station was further investigated at the high energy lab in the canyon at Amber Twins Equator let's zoom in right. quantum shard, change rocks wonders when no one is watching. Now I'm determine this shard is the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. And am I hypothesize that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. This shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. Okay. This tower located on Bruno Hollow's equator. What useful knowledge for the no I embarking the first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Alright. Now I detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere in Giant's Deep. Now I detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. And the Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Alright. You're not exploded, yep. Oh, you're very red. You're going to explode soon. What is that? I can't scroll up far enough to look. What is the dotted line represent? Oh, okay, it's something coming in. What are you? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, give me that again. Yeah, I want to lock onto Brittle Hollow. 
for next time? Or do we want to go to Dark Bramble and teleport in? No, we'll stay where we are. Oh, gravity's going up and down all over the place. Alright. Let's just get into space. Oh, actually. Come on back down again. What is that big old blue light coming out of that? Yeah, 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 don't care. One of these days I will remember which things do which. No! What are you... There we go. Unidentified signal nearby. Ah, too late. Oh well. Ship hull breach detected. Oh well. I didn't even. Didn't even get to be killed by the supernova. Or at least I don't think that was the supernova that killed me there. I got to see all 22 <gasps> minutes of it, I think it is. <laughs> Off into space! Alright, okay. Do I have brittle hollow locks? No, I don't. Well, right, velocity match, but I don't know where you are. There you are. We're going to slow down enough. Looks like we have. We made it. I'm very surprised. All right, unidentified signal nearby. Right, unidentified signal. Yeah, I assume it's that up there. Cool. I don't know what this is. Is this mysteries within mysteries? It's an escape pod. Okay. How do I... Oh, I'm translated. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news. Have we at least heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however, if it's any comfort. Both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch! The moon! It's approaching again! Everyone brace yourself swiftly! The volcanic moon has returned! Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. They certainly don't work on the surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface. We need to construct a way to... For everyone to climb down safely from this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms? Alright, okay. 
can I get over there and in that thing? Oh! Ow! Well, at least I wasn't too injured. Okay. Translated writings. Scanning external environment scan complete. Minus structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, now launching escape pod 1. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Energy sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Okay, interesting. Okay, well here's a this writing emergency escape pod hatch, but I bet I can. There we go. All right, now I can follow you down. Interesting. All right. I want to go into the black hole. Oh. Yep, press the wrong button there. As always. Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Yeah, okay. Oh, too late, I slipped. I was going too fast. Alright, white hole, forwards. I want to go into you. So they can come back out again at the black hole. No? You're just gonna keep pushing me away. Alright. Down, over here, into you. Slowly, slowly maneuver our way in, crash horribly. Spot that there are messages that I haven't been reading. Pull out the thing again when I want to go down. God damn it, I'm never going to learn these controls. I'm just fundamentally incapable of remembering them for some reason. Alright, in. There we go. Hey, attractive man. Thank you. Watch the speedrun of this, took them an hour with a little going out of bounds. Well, I'm definitely not going to be... wait. Where is this? This is not where I usually am. Is it? Oh, it is. I'm just... Right. Okay. Fine. Uh, down. Grab the ball. Hey there, ball. Alright. Now, last time, I put you in the other socket. But I... Let's see what's in there. So I don't know where you're lining me up now. I assume you're lining me up to the same place. Ah, you're just rotating the other direction. I see. Okay, so it's quicker. Right. Okay. Here we are. Back on... Brittle Hollow. Right. Fuel. Thank you for being here. Right. Now... This is the place I've been, right? I've translated this stuff already. Yes, this is all about the quantum moon over here. 
or the quantum shard, which leads to the quantum moon. There's the ship over there. Aha! Uh -huh. Smack! Right, and that must lead back down to the black hole. Yeah, there it is. Alright, well, before we go deal with the black hole. Thank you very much. Refill everything. Get us out of here. Right, looking to go down. Which was out the back of the ship. Which hopefully is over here. Yes. Well, this is where we wanted to come last time. Before I fell into the black hole, so there we go. This is great. I've arrived at a place. I've noted, be sure not to wander far from here. This area is somewhat unsafe, it's far safer than any we've found so far. Temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created, created by meteor impacts. Alright. What's that the symbol for? I forget. Knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal is older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. That is impressive. No, not my clan has ever encountered anything like it. Can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it must offer must find a way to get to the eye of the universe. Signal looks like an eye round. A signal at the center, like a view. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Alright. Why do you keep telling me to launch scout when, we, when I look like that? Is that a hint, or is it just malfunctioning? Or am I pressing a button that I didn't know I'm pressing? You're stable. Okay, that's great. Can I not get around? Okay, I can go down. Yeah. I should probably be doing this in some sort of methodical search pattern so that I know where I'm going and where I've come from. No, rather, wasn't Escape Pod 1 with us? Was he in Pod 2 or Pod 1? Was he able to board at all? Sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot. I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Oxygen. Thank you. Oh, look at all those lights going down there. Almost like that was a way forwards or something. Why would you do... No! Why would you... You bloody thing. Rotating, so I need to try and match what's going on so that I can get in. Ow! My leg appendages. Right, just get me there. 
There we go, I am transported back. Alright, where are you? Okay, over there first of all. I guess I don't need the fuel. Hey, I'm refueled now. Alright, let's try and get to my ship. Uh oh. Vitals critical. Wow. Oh. Glad to know that I am heavily injured. Where is my ship on this planet? That way. I was hoping I would be able to see it on, you know, the map of the planet. But it's too flat. Alright, there you are, ship. I am glad to see you again, ship. Oh, you've got something damaged. Alright, yeah. You are repaired. Are you undamaged now? No. Screw it. Starboard hull damage. Are we far enough away that we're not going to be pulled back into its orbit now? I hope so. Now if I go out, am I going to have to try and catch up with my, yeah, with my ship? Right, now where's the damage? Where is the sparking that indicates the damage? Or a crack? Well... Didn't see that planet coming up. Your prize is death. Thank you. And I bet that was still doubled, wasn't it? Because I am not sure. I'm going to have to delete and then re-add them. I think is the way to do it. And see if that fixes it. <sighs> Alright, where are we going this time? Wherever it is. Um, that one didn't sound too bad. But there were some game sounds going on. Masked by the game sounds then, I'm sure. Alright, map. Well, I haven't been to Giant's Deep yet. Let's go over that. Okay, there's an island over there. Oh, there's a tornado. Okay. We landed! Successfully! Uh, 
Are there any sounds here? Any quick si signals, look. Yes. Right over here. Hey, you, you've got to be the person that we're looking for, right? Yeah, there we go. Hello! Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Oh, hey, okay, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. You know about dying. That's great. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it... Nope, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Imagine if you'd got here without dying. I wonder what the different dialogue would be. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. Yep. Taking this pretty well. Ha! Right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences. Never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Things like you and I are the only ones who can tell time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they'd died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they'd never remember by the next one. I don't realise anything's different. Here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all the memories from the loop would play back to me. I'm pretty sure it's related to that big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and it started glowing. It played my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. That happened to me! Me! I was at the statue, I was at the museum and it happened to me too! You too. The Nomai statues must have had something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statues, no time loop awareness. That's going to be my leading theory, but if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what new that's what's new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about what get yeah, you, you know? How space treat you. Uh where's your ship? That's most important of all. Can you help me? Can you get off of here and go and alert people? No. That's a good question. It's definitely on the planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by. Tossed it into space, I guess. <laughs> that would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Have you, have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it's hard to hypnotize you? I'm telling you. But you're in a trance if you stare at them long enough. How space drinking you? Well, let's go down the list now. Nice, nice. What you got for me? Actually, never mind. Alright. No worries, feel free to let me know when you do find something cool, though. You know where to find me. I mean, I found lots of things. There's a quantum moon. We're in a time loop. I have found a black hole. I have been through a black hole. I have come out of a white hole. I have been teleported by warped and zipped back in time by 0 0.001 seconds. These are things I feel I should be telling you. No? Alright. And I don't know how you're playing that with your helmet on. You can't breathe through your helmet. That's not how space helmets are designed. And if they are designed like that, then it's a big design flaw. But hey. What are you doing out here? Well, one of us any are doing it, really. No, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system. Same as you. I'll tell you what, outer space really gives room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, let's be talking. Why should I explore on Giant's Deep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's the island where I found a glowing Namai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice piece. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid seven out of ten on the Gabo relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's one of it's one with two islands connected by a natural rock belt. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Okay, what's up with this planet? Haha, <laughs> I know, right? I mean, like, tell you more about it. I got you. Well, trying to deep with massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current always beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current, and neither idea worked. So you had two ideas. Alright. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the 
four islands, including this one, there's also the one with the Nomine statue I saw on the beach. So is that five islands? Seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They toss everything up in the path, including islands included. Look at it. If you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Alright, thanks a lot. Cool, cool. Take it easy out there. Alright, have you got anything else around here for me to investigate? Uh oh, yeah, I was just going to say, I recognise this stuff. I can't tell where it. Oh, there. It's just. There. Hmm. Alright. I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult to just get around this island. Right? Should just be able to jump off the other side. Okay. I don't want to doze off. I don't want to go to sleep. I'll refill my jet back. Alright, is this... Yeah, this is the other... Oh. <sighs> yeah, alright. Thanks. Thanks a lot. My prize is death. Onwards. So, all right. Let's go back there. Button. Always the wrong button. Oh wait, no, I want to go down to so. oh, right, right. Yep, there we go. Could just press B and hold to match the velocity, but I don't want to match the velocity quite yet. I want to go beneath the surface of this thing. And then, alright. Alright. Ah! Right, is this the same area? Oh, I could bring out my, uh, no, not that. Yeah, okay, so that's you. Let's go around. That's the other side of the cave where I died. Okay, alright, so. Let's follow the thing all the way up. I don't know. That's anything up here, but, you know, maybe. And then we'll go and look at, try and find a different island on this planet. Right, this is it. And this is the only thing that's up here, right? There's no writings, there's nothing else. No, that just gets me straight back there. I can't, is there anything at the top here? I can't really. No, I've got 1.8 gravity. No wonder I can't really do anything. Alright, in we go. Alright. Where can I find another island? 
is there one in between all four of those things? Doesn't look like it. Aha! There's an island. And yeah, that's. Oh. Is that a. Oh, interesting. Pads. Landing pad? Looks like it. Interesting. Right, do I need. Yeah, okay. Refill. Jetpack. Hatch. Okay. Maybe things will stick there if a cyclone comes by because it's pulling it down. I mean, maybe not, but I can always hope. Hello. Statue workshop. Hmm. Can't get in there, though. Ah, uh, gravity crystals, yes. More gravity crystals? Are you? Yeah, you're gonna. Alright. Let's follow the gravity crystals. Trees detected. Oh no, dead people. That's never a good sign. Unless it is. A half covered thing. Not sure what that is. Let's just wander around several times. Anything in there? No. Into this nice semi. Okay. Are you protection from cyclones? Is that what you are? So that would be great. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what, are they going to... but what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, am I? New risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Fox will let us see a later test. Okay, so this is the statue island. That's in there. What's the other way in? Is it through. Hmm, is it through. Can I. Can they just. They can fit through there. Alright. see what's in there. Is it standing on this and waiting for a uh, thing to come over? Because that seems, you know, pretty silly to do that. But also, you know, it's something that you might do in a game. That one's half covered. Is this the only thing we've got on here? This is where I came from, right? Yep. No, let me up. There we go. Nothing over there. Or no way that I can get over there without being smarter. Are you coming? Oh, that looks like there's a thing coming. Right. Alright, let's see what these do. Maybe I'm entirely misreading them and they say don't stand here when there's a cyclone, tornado, hurricane, water thing. No! I am safe! Cool. I wonder what happened to my ship. Uh, still over there. Am 
I in the eye of the hurricane? I can't get out. Okay. It looked like I was getting out, but then not. Now I am out. Now I'm stuck. Okay, now I'm not stuck, but everything's gone past. So, do I need to get in through the water? Because that looks like the way to get in there. Because there's a... There's a my scale. Yeah, see, that looks like you can get in via the water. Alright. Let me out. Right, just over. Alright, that way instead then. This looks, this is, what is up here? Why are you leading me up here with torches? Trees detected, okay, that's great. Oh, okay, another teleporting place. Alright, what are your warp platform from? Giant Steep friends, I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not going to tell it. Dwelling, I'm likely in the workshop below. Inside the island. So yeah, this is another teleport thing. You weren't leading me up here, you were leading me away from here. Because that is where you want to arrive. Alright. Can I go in the water? <laughs> well, yeah, okay, great. Can I go down? And then forwards. And then I should have left the scout so that I knew. Nope, I can get there. Excellent. I have found my way. I didn't think I'd be able to know where I was going. No. First try. Because I'm amazing. You're the door, right? Cool, yep. That's the statue over there. Don't know that I can get over there. No, not with two times gravity. I'm not going to be able to. Hello, partially done statue. Yaro, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in the closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statuette will record his memories, send them to the Ash Twin project. This is extraordinary sculpt of like Fox. He's that down himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single demise memories. Here's a, her own storage unit within Ashtwin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, a statue's counterpart, which will be able to send these stored memories back to the corresponding Namai. Okay. So that's why we remember. As it sends them back to them afterwards. Right, do that. Eyes open. I assume they go in the direction of the bigger ones. That makes sense. Ash twin. Projection stone again. Always with the Ash Twins. I've installed the mask inside the Ash Twins project flocks. They look beautiful. Although I do fear Lazar being observed. It's uncomfortable knowing the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? 
If anything goes wrong with the Astroman project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the project. Problem. Okay. I hadn't thought of that. What profoundly horrific fate that would be. So I wonder if they don't know about it then. entirely certain what I'm doing. Okay, so I can see in here, there's masks everywhere. There are three which I assume are on. Which is me. Flebo upstairs, whatever his name was. Gabo? Gabro? Whatever. And presumably one of them. Uh-oh. Is there another cyclone coming? I can hear the air getting bigger. Yep, cool. We done? Stand here and turn my flashlight on and off. You know, you can actually equip my uh, signal scope. An unknown frequency up there. Oh, is that the. Um How do we get up there? Oh, is there another one coming? I don't know how I would be ejected out of here, I would just be crushed into the ceiling. I mean, that doesn't sound good either, but you know. Right, so how do I get up there? Oh, not like that, obviously. This is twice as how do I get up there? Do I have to be pulled by the three minutes of oxygen remaining? Well that's not good. I can't join with you again, so I can't have a new start point, I don't think. I think I'm always going to start back where it was. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there. Not with... Because we've got double the gravity, so maybe I do need to be pulled up there by a cyclone. All right. Let's just get back to the ship. Oh, there's something up there, though. What? Well, maybe there's something up there. It looks like a place. Alright, well, I'm glad you're being held here, ship. Let's go back outside and see if there's... Maybe there isn't anything up there, I don't know. But, you know, it's a, it's a piece of land that joins together, so it looks like it should do. There's a statue with its eyes open as well. Hey, you coming this way? No? Is anybody coming this way? 
I can do with being... I'm not going to say what I was going to say. No, you look to be going past me. How red's the sun? Oh, zoom out. Maybe you're coming this way? I'm not sure. I mean, they've got to be coming this way on a regular time. Because that's how it works. I mean, I don't want to spend all of my time just standing around in here. Waiting for it to come. But, you know, on the other hand, I do want to do that. Stop doing that to me. Let me off. Let me off. I just wanted to get a better view. Alright, you might be coming in my direction. And we'll see whether I'm going to be crushed to death on the ceiling, whether I can make it across as some sort of loop. Some sort of jumping, whatever it is. Yeah, okay, so I can definitely hear a tornado coming faster. Right, now I don't want to be in there, I want to be able to get across, please. Right? My... Wait, why is gravity zero? Why am I going down? What? Oh, I've been pushed into space, even though... Alright, okay. Well, there we go, I was pushed into space. That was great. Gravity is still zero. Why is gravity zero? Now it's two. Alright. Am I back in the same place? Yeah, I am. Alright, well that... Didn't really help. Oh, writing's over there. You will forever taunt me. I don't think I've got enough time to get over there and then become... Maybe I can get a better jetpack from somewhere? I don't know. Would you let me out? There we go, so I can get in my ship. I don't think I can get my ship in there. Alright. Let's take off. Let's just see if there's anything. Aha! Uh -huh, there is. This is the teleporting place. Alright. Yeah, alright. We'll leave our ship here. He said, pushing all of the wrong buttons again. So this is where I would come down if I was teleporting. So there must be to get a way to get in there from up here. Or, no, I've seen this already. This is where I've been. Oh my god, my sense of direction. All right. Right, you over here. Ah, oh, you haven't got any welcoming pads, though. Oh, okay. So this is a test of how do you get through. Ok, 
Okay, so I think I'm okay for now. Where's... Was it down that one? Oh. Hazard. I assume so. Does that mean I can go this way then? Looks like it. Supernova. Alright. Well then, Supernova, I'm hiding in here. You'll never get me in the water. I was underwater, you didn't get me. That was all affection. Safely hiding. Well, at least I didn't crash and die. I mean, I've got to be transmitting my memories up there to someone every time, right? Because that's what they just said. Maybe nobody's looking at my memories, but... Ah, no. Okay, the ship's locked. Let's see the new things. Orbital flash. Gabbro. Can see a bright flash in the, at the start of every loop. Something must be happening in orbit around Giant's Deep. Alright. Gabbro says there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below into it. But I seem to recall that being you being able to get there from um, the branch one. Gabra is lounging in a hammock near the island shore. Gabra found an anomaly statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing. Gabra saw the memories flash before their eyes. Gabra remembers dying. He saw the memories flash before their eyes, just like the time with the statue. Gabra and I seem to be the only ones aware we're in a time loop. Alright. The island must be where the anomaly created statues, like the one in our observatory. Found an anomaly statue lying on the beach. It looks like the one in our observatory. I wonder if I should tell anybody that. My statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. Statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded or in the event that it failed. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Nomai mines. Mine off from site. Protective shell designed. Yeah, okay. Down here. Escape pod 1. One of three escape pods that crashed into the solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. There's more to explore in the old settlement. Okay, the Nomai constructed a temporary statue beneath the crashed escape pod. Nomai worked together to recall an eye shaped signal they encountered on board. Festival signal was somehow older than the universe itself. Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. There's more to explore here. I'm sure I've got something else where there was more to explore as well. There it is. Ah, yes, the shuttle that was crashed on the ice planet. Alright, well. I have not been to the Hourglass Twins. Where is it? Dark Bramble. 
Let's head to Dark Bramble and see if we can get in that way. Let's just go off in every different direction at once and see what happens. Velocity matched, but there it is. Oh, it's on the other side of the... Yeah, alright. Don't care right now. Just trying to avoid crashing into the sun. Alright, now slow down. Slow down. Slower than that, please. Non crashing speeds. There we go. That will do us. Then, no, I want to go down. Yeah, because I want to go in and try and get to the sounds. Oh, stop that. In we go. <sighs> well, I made it in. I'm not going to exit the hull just yet. Oh, wrong button. Right, that's where we want to go. And then we'll teleport somewhere. Right, this is a teleporty thing. If I'm not right, field spot. There we go. Yeah. My ship doesn't explode before I can get there. Is it you? Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Gentle, gentle. Oh, right, this is stop. Stop. Match philosophy. No, nope, not that one. That one. There we go. This is where I get the scout to send it through. So that I can see. There are duplicate entry. There we go. That way. And now I can get to the scout. Okay, and 
roll. That one. Nope. That's roll. There we go. Hey, I brought my ship. Are you okay with that? I mean, if not, I'm not really sure what to do about it. As I'm here now. Hello again. Right, now I need to... Right, okay. Recall the scout. Right, yep. Yeah. And then last time I was here, I didn't get to go through here because I ran out of time. And the universe exploded before I could do things. I think there's a sound. There's your ship. I think I was meant to be inside. Can I go down? Thank you. I think I can fix your ship. Right? I don't get out. I was just gonna say no. I don't have repairing things to tell me that. All right. So where is the other thing that I probably totally missed? It was just go along the tail, right? There's your ship. And then just follow this. I mean, that looks... Or am I going back to where I came from? No? Velocity of something has been matched. I haven't just come back to Feldspire. I have. I've just gone back the other way. All right. Well, oxygen tank at least. All right. Where are you? Tell me. Let me double check. Whoa, where you come from? Oh, it's it. So it's you. Yes, anglerfish. Yes, oxygen tank. Yep. Did I find something? Oh yeah, that's the the, the bramble. Yep. Know about the bad bramble, but I want reach the core of Giant's Deep. How do you do that? There we go. That was a well one. Since you're asking, I've got to assume you haven't made it down this elf. Hmm. I'm a completely unrelated one. I sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, go for a walk and see where it ends. Right. Yep. I thought I was going in the right direction, but you know, I obviously messed something up somewhere. Right now, where's your dead, your exploded chip? Where? Going back. I found it with ease the first time. I mean, not even now, I mean before when I arrived here. Alright, so go out the back of this thing. Then Follow it. So follow this one, and then get into the thing and find the tail and go up and. I mean, 
I guess the only way to get into the hollow thing is to find the place where the ship crashed and then go inside it there, yeah, there great as you know you couldn't get into the hollow bit otherwise right now we go in and follow it Slow down. Get down and then just follow the hollow. Yeah, and now I'm here. Present for your remaining. Oh no, is there is that a giant dead jellyfish? Play recording. Trip four, entry I'm gonna say not one. Crashes three, boring crashes zero, a personal best. Woohoo! Never thought I'd see one of those beasties outside of giant steep. Oh. Awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Black thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Yeah, that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. Why? I mean, I can go inside a jellyfish. Is it? I guess I can drop down and... Oh, there's a note! Read. Note to Felsbar. Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this was the last thing you ate in your life. Yes, the jellyfish are only useful for insulation against electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Felsbar. Alright. But I haven't come across electricity yet. Is that another note, or was that just a piece of geometry? Just geometry. Alright, where am I? I'm still on Dark Bramble. Alright. Alright, but now I know jellyfish can insulate me from electricity, but I don't need you to do so. yet. So I've got the answer to a puzzle I don't even know I'm looking for yet. Alright. Presumably falling down here is to, you know, fall to my death or something. Well, let's find out, shall we? Three minutes of oxygen. Don't worry, I'm going to get eaten before then. My fuel will run out as well, actually. Oh my god, so many duplicate si signals for the ship. This one? That one. That one. Oh wait, no, because that's going to take me... Oh well. Well, there's the question. Am I going to smash myself to death before I run out of oxygen? Well, I run out of fuel first. Well, it's one of those two. All right. Oh my goodness. I mean, 
I actually found my way here. Not down. Don't go to the top of the trees. Right, let me... Gravity, there we go. Hello. Hey, Ashling Pooker. Uh, right, I did that. So, I found something. Found the frozen jellyfish near your ship. Ha! So that old thing you see there, that's where I first camped off. Crash! You know, it's pretty cozy inside. Does like the structural integrity and the indomitable spirit of a camp made in the shelter of the very bones of the species that tried to eat you, I suppose. Still, very cozy. Alright. I mean, thanks. I guess. Heal myself. Fuel myself. Go outside. Try and find the thing that needs to be repaired. Ah, oh, is it you? I mean, you're looking pretty bashed up. Yeah. Oh. Stop. 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 As in, stop. There we go. Alright. Um. Unable to pinpoint location. Well, all right. I mean, I don't. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. I don't know how to get out. I mean, I know how to get in. And I don't want to go that way. Can you pinpoint location now? No, no. All right. So maybe I'll just find an anglerfish and get eaten. Let's reset the loop. Yeah. Well, while we're doing that, let's see what I learned on the ship's log. Frozen jellyfish. That's the only thing I learned. Okay. The frozen jellyfish says, falsified documents, their attempt to eat the enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the inside. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation against electricity. Alright. So I'm not sure what the greyed out things mean. Do the greyed out things mean, are they just like a particular thing? Or are they, hey, you've done all of that information. Yeah, it's got to be you've done everything. No, it can't be because I haven't even done that. Oh, that's whitish. Oh, I don't know. Alright, map mode. Nope, map mode. I haven't been to the Ash Twins yet at all. Or the Amber Twin. Amber Twin, Ash Twin. I haven't been to the. There. That's the white hole. That's the quantum moon, is it? And I haven't been to Hollow's Lantern's moon. And I haven't been to the orbital probe cannon, apparently. That's where the orbital flash comes from. Orbiting Giants Deep. Well, if I can get out... That's where we'll go. But, you know... I figure I'm just gonna... Ram myself into something by mistake. Or, you know, nominally on purpose. Like that. Cockpit is damaged, is it? Alright. Oh, I can't take off my. Yeah, return suit. Oh, was that you hitting something else? Hey. I've not died in the vacuums of space yet. There we go. One quick return. Thank you. I 
mean, I'm learning lots of useful stuff doing these things, but I don't know that I'm any closer to actually solving any of this. I mean, I must be, because I'm learning things, but I don't feel like I've got a handle on a particular puzzle that I can now solve. Quit to the main menu and restart the loop for quicker. I don't, um, I don't know that I retain all the information for that day that I have learned, though. I mean, I can do it now. Restart loop and quit to main menu. Eh, maybe you can. All right. All right. Where's the all right giants? Deep. I want to go and see that thing. But I can't. Okay, so I have to go head to Giant's Deep. Right, you, Giant Flash. I can see you. That thing. There we go. Right, what's that? Ah, oh, that's... Aha! Uh -huh. At first, I thought that was a walking platform up there, but no, it's a landing platform. Okay. Stop, stop. Why are you... All right, we made it safely. Ah! I say we made it safely, and then I immediately fall down. Oh, I guess. All right, I guess this is how you access the interior. All right, well, yes. I assume. That's writing. No, that's not translated. Oh, it is. I'm just not. Just not close enough to read it. All right. Probe tracking module. Come on. Let me. Control module. Launch module. All right, well, let's look at the launch module first of all, seeing as things have been launched. Oh, I can't get in there. All right. I'm not really sure what I'm seeing. I mean, that's where I came from, and... It's looking like that area is all smashed up. Alright. I don't think I'll ever be able to get here quick enough. Not sure what they all are. Maybe they're more probes. Right, which one was this? This wasn't control, was it? This was tracking. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And this is also done. All right. Alright then, control it is. Uh, 
is the only one that actually is possible to get into, I guess. Oop. This is where we're going. Okay, and then we've got floor. Excellent. Alright, I can get a ball all the way over. None of you are activated. Yeah, alright then, ball. Let's go. Will you just fall down the hole because... No, okay. Okay. Can I read you now? No. Now you can. Alright, okay. Can aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity fuel activated. Five minutes, 30 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Alright. Ooh, there's stuff to learn up there as well. Okay. out into the big blue wire and then it split apart. Okay. Warning, orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Probe tracking module is receiving data from the probe. Begin launch. Orbital ca probe cannon launch request received. Probe successfully launched. Okay, so it launched. Then it smashed apart. Then what was this one again? don't know what that is yet. That must be the Ashtwin project, I assume. Can aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. And then, okay, the, so the time is moving on. Where's the launch probe received from Ashtwin project? Okay. Ah! Oops. There we are. Don't, don't. No, 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 I don't want to be there yet. I want to be here. Right, okay. No, no, up. Along. Alright, this is it. Falling apart. Oh, I wonder if I can get into the other module. Look, that appears to be floating. Alright. Tell me what's going on. Probe tracking module missing. Launch module. Few window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum in space. I might be able to get in there from the other side then. Control module. Module intact. No structural damage. Orbital probe cannon. Damage report. Severe structure. Stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Alright, okay. Launch module projection stone. Okay. Show me what it looks like in the launch module. Alright, looks like there is information for me to pick up in there. No, because that's this. Is it? I don't know. So I am seeing it, and this is what it looks like, but there's also a thing over there? So maybe there is? Hmm. Alright. Giant's deep projection zone, okay. Translated. I have bad news, Evans. Nara says there's a problem with the proposed battle, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. But it was. 
Hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. Which I will, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital program is on an indefinite hiatus. But it was fired. Tell Privet and Mello they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Update. Mello and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit my brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Okay. Interesting. Get over there to read it? Nope. Okay, show me that stuff again. Okay, so there's a pad. There's the cyclone thing. There's a walking thing. Oh. I've not been here. Oh, I'm underwater. Okay. Well, that's interesting to note. Okay, there's a place on there that I definitely haven't been, which, you know, I kind of knew, but now I know there are things there. Okay, now I'm my better 50% on my better half. Casava is sending the last of the cannon components soon. Relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. What's the difference between the blue bits and the orange bits? The thought of concluding my elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Aeons. Casava uh, tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. Alright. I see. If I'm right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Aaron's given the orbital probe cannon all the power it constructionally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Alright, interesting. Alright, can I... No, I can't walk out there. So... Oh! No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get out of here. I might be able to get to the launch control module. Come on, just... From the outside now. I don't know that that will get me anything, but I'll be interested to see if I can. Quite glad that I immediately fell down there. Alright, but now I want to go out and explore. Right, that's got to be the module that I was in. Oh, I can't turn on a flashlight here. Okay, that's got to be the. Um, Stop that. Stop drifting away. That's got to be the front of it, right? Why, why are you... Stop drifting away. Come back. Oh, was I not locked onto you? Is that why I wasn't... Alright, okay. Right. 
Well, I almost crashed into whatever that was. Okay, this has got to be the... That's where it fired out of. That's got to be the... Uh, the... The barrel, for want of a better term there. I am just going to... There, okay, there's... Alright, let's try and get back to the ship first of all, eh? Because that way, then I can pick up more fuel. And, you know, not exactly die in the middle of space. Yep, I know, fuel critical level. Don't worry. Oh, wait. No, do worry. Oh. There we go. If you'll jet back. Go back out again. Here we are. Oh, I keep pressing the B button to do my extra rocket jumps, but that doesn't matter in space because it's trying to match the velocity. So, I am being extra stung. Alright, okay. Now... You're probably the one that I've been in, right? Oh. Because you don't appear to have any cracks in you. Cool. Round to the other side. Oh. Actually. Ow, 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 ow. I really don't expect to find anything in here in the barrel of the gun. But, you know, let's have a look. You've got to be the propulsion mechanisms. I assume... If I'm in here... Oh... There's a thing going past rather quickly. I assume if I'm in here... Yeah, no, there's no... I'm not going to get propel propelled anywhere. That's great. Alright. You're the one that's not working properly. You got exposed to the vacuum, right? So there should be a way in here. Aha! There we are. I don't know that this is going to get me anything, but, you know, now I am in here. Cool. Okay. Probe tracking module projection stone. Let's have a look at that, first of all. And then we'll grab the one in the middle of the air. In space, no one can hear you rocket jump. Exactly. Too close. Imagine for that, the pro tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You will be the first to see them. I am honoured and terrified. You're honorified? Horrified? Yeah. I won't ask the orbital programmer to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Yes. Fret not, my nervous friend. We need only to fire the probe once. Anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe's structural integrity? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we wouldn't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Okay. Alright, well that's a thing to note. They cannot see what is going on. Where is this? The probe tracking module. Oh yeah, I've been in here. Alright. Cool. And there we go, I just picked up an invisible floating stone. Evans, a man on my better half, Casimir, I've speak the last cannon component, so you will know the ice precise location. Casimir tells me the construction guide is determined. Yeah, okay, so this is the same stuff before. So this must be their half of the message. Let's just see if there's anything extra. Nope. Just something they didn't transmit back. Nope, okay, that's fine. 
and I'll have the control module and then oh I can't swap it out like that not gonna see anything extra in here am I oh wait no I think I've seen that one must have done yeah all right now I can't go back that way because that way's blocked so oh hey there's nothing up here that I could do is there uh, that's smashed so I can't see no okay can't do that so just to get out of here now Then time to look for the other module, maybe, and try and get it as it's spinning out there in space. Yeah, I know three minutes of oxygen remaining. Why do you think I'll go back here? Yeah, all right. Here first of all. And then out. And then I saw it. But uh, I really don't know where it is now. Oh, I can't lift off while I'm inside that bit. No, of course I can't. Alright, where is it? Where's the thing that I saw? Is it rotating or it? Nope. Ah, oh, is that it over there? Is it not rotating exactly with the rest of this stuff? That would make sense. Can I stay close to that thing? No? I'm being pulled out of its orbit by something else? Well, there we go. I am lost in the depths of space forever now because I can't not go forward with that. Well, That's the part of the module that I want there. But I am never going to be able to catch up with my ship now. Alright, ship. Alright, son. I'm coming for you. crash into you. Nope. Never going to be able to reach you. Apparently. Fuel level critical. Oh well. I'm 
getting further and further away from the sun. Well, fortunately, it's going to supernova now. I was hoping to be there before you supernova, but all right. Come on, try and hit me now. I'm a tiny target in the middle of space. And while I understand that you are, you know, rippling out in every possible conceivable direction, maybe you'll miss me? Doesn't feel like it. On the plus side, I can describe to everybody what it's like to die in the middle of space in a supernova. An experience nobody else will ever replicate. Or be able to describe. I still don't know why the sun is exploding though. It's got to be something to do with launching the probe. Alright, there you go. Okay, and you're going off to a random location. That is why it changes every time. off into the big blue beyond. I cannot get there. Alright, so. Giant's Deep. I know you've got loads of things there. Am I... Giant's Deep, I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for the other part of the ship. If I could... Because I would like to get into that other module. like I'm going in the water anyway. Oh well, we can explore this area. Oh! And there's electricity. And I can get in there... via a jellyfish. Current. Can I get in there via jellyfish? Jellyfish? I wonder. Or whether I just need the jellyfish for the electrical portion of this. Yeah, I can't get down that far. need a drink quickly. Stay right there. And then let's resume. Alright. So, how do you get on there? Okay, where is this? I in the... Right, yeah, okay, I'm here. Alright, well there's an island that I've not been on. 
Aha, this is the one which I saw in the other place. So, yep, ship damaged, headlights damaged. Alright, landing gear damaged as well. Doesn't matter, I'm here. Okay, oh, I can repair you. I'll repair the headlights, the most useful part of the, the ship. Oh, I can repair the landing gear while standing in exact same position. Well, that's good to know. Uh oh. Pass me over. I can hear you, giant thing. Do, do, do. Now, what to wait for? Or oh, what to pass me by? So that I can get out. Read things. You don't have a scroll in you, so tell me. This is it. We finished building the final orbital pro cannon module and ready to send it to orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Provat up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope. I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. I mean, presumably you assume that with everything that you're trying. Otherwise, why try it? If I know my brother, Evans, and his spouse, I want to launch a probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon will break under the strain. After all, we give Evans and Malik a slightly lower maximum power setting for him than the absolute maximum possibility to create room for their enthusiasm. Yep. They did know you well. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. Oh, such feeling you can feel in those words. If I'm ever half as good as Mallow and Evans behave together, Des, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. Oh well. Good to know. Ship log updated. Alright. Now, I've got gravity here, so I can walk over there. I'm not sure what I want to get from Alright, let's do it. Can I can I not? Are you not gravity? Yeah, you are. I just had to give it a bit of a oomph. Hmm. Alright, I can't do that one because it's broken. Alright. That makes sense. There's a place to hide. Presumably there's something to do while hiding over here. Ow. Yep. Alright, what have you got for me first of all? This one is long range program. Okay, yep. Ship log updated. Really? Why? Uh, bad news, Owens. Yara says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so if they were, we won't be asked to fire. I think I've read this one. We're pulling my locomotive limb. Yep. This is the other side of the conversation. Got anything else? Because you may be responsible. Yes. Read all of that. Chip log updated. Why? I've seen all of that. in the control module. The only one I want to go in then is the tracking module. Okay, this is the pictures of the orbital banner and the things where they're going. That's great. Alright, I can make it over to the other side. So let's get over there. Let's see if there's anything to look at over there. Ok, 
guess I just want to walk around. I'll be upside down when I reach the other side, won't I? But, you know, I'll be there. Uh oh. Crystal Hollow. Okay, but there's nothing on this side. So do I need to get onto the, back onto the other side now? So I can read the Brittle Hollow thing. Okay. I can do that. I can walk from one side to the other. In a straight straight-ish line. Ow. I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank beneath the current. Caso convinced me not to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious of what happened. How could something pass through the current? Yeah, I'm curious. And gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructs a model of the giant steep here on Brittle Hollow's southern observatory. It reveals how an object might sink below there. Okay. So I need to go there to look. And able to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, will you kindly explain it to me? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface of the South Pole, we'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Canyon, and the other at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. Conway, you should have seen it. I thought it was impossible for any cannon when it's even partially below the current, but I'll sink straight to the core. Alright. Well, maybe I can see. The only thing I can see are the twisters. Can I go down a twister? Is there like a giant one which... I can put my ship down. Like that one over there. Which looks particularly big. There's one coming right now, I better get inside. I was going to try and run for my ship, but maybe not. No oxygen is going down. As I'm stuck underwater because of this giant thing. Alright. walk over here now. Get back to the ship. Whee! Trees detected. Oxygen tank refilled. Alright, and now back to the ship, which I have repaired. Which is good, as I'm about to try something stupid. I mean... When is that unlikely for me? Right, but you, you are giant, and you appear to be stationary. I don't know if this is going to work. There we go. 
All right, now I'm in here at this giant tower structure. Why are you underwater? What's under here? What was that? What is this? And I can't go down. So this must be part of a current? Or can I go down? Am I... I can. But it's pushing me back up again immediately. Okay, interesting. Not entirely sure what that is. Demonstration of how the current works. Hmm. Well, I will think. In the meantime, let's just follow this. You're not going anything down there, no. Pathway's getting crumbly. Here's a reading thing. Welcome to this place. This tower shares with all who asked the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Oh, I've made it to the quantum place, have I? Okay, awesome. Well, let's learn all we can. Enter this place without friends. However, there are lessons. However, these are lessons to learn yourself. I wonder if that was a warning for. Hey, don't be streaming this particular part of the thing. Or whether it was just. Oh no, you can't do it with friend without friends, can you? If friends are there, then multiple observations will not move it. All right. Yep. Okay, looks like we're going down. Seek the Wandering Arch. Alright, I thought you disappeared. That's what you did. Okay, so there's not an arch. There's an arch! Oh, I can't do it with the double, yeah, with the double gravity. All right, kept an eye on it, found the arch. Okay, down to the next level. Cool. Unidentified signal, that's you. There we go, island shard identified. Awesome. Ah, and it disappears. All right. Anything else to tell me? Is there anything on the island shard that I should be looking at? Doesn't look like it. I did not find a quantum of solace, nor did I find solace within the quantum. All right, there's the arch again. Oh. I just lost my teachery thing because I wasn't looking. Uh, where are my instructions? There they are. Keep looking at the instructions. Don't lose the instructions. Observing a quantum object. Observe an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Okay. Right. Yep. I discovered that before. Myself. Thank you very much.
Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Cool. So now you stay there. Recall our probe. No, recall the probe. Okay. There's a hole to fall down. You're reappearing. Can I walk into you backwards then? Oh, well. I don't know what I was meant to learn there exactly. Oh, and I lost my sorting instructions again. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Okay. What's the crystal? Oh, it's a gravity crystal. Okay. Oh, but it disappeared when I... Okay, so I need them to naturally meet. Alright, so if I do that... No, because it disappears. Oh. Alright, so what do I need? So I need a probe. Slightly higher. Higher. Oh, damn it. Alright. Nope, you're on the wrong wall. That'll do. That's not... What are you seeing? Is that... Yes, that is that. Okay. So then... There we go. Alright, but now... I need more photos. There we go. So now, even if I walk over here... I can see the arch and the gravity thing at the same time. Oh, and fell through it immediately. That's great. Hello. I guess you are just, like, showing off. I really should hurry up with this slightly. Because, you know, it'll probably explode me. How are we doing? Yep. That's very red. Okay, so I need to get up there. Well, let's read this first of all. I bet it says something about King of Two. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Okay. Did you? Okay, but I think you've got the photo of which two have you got photo of? You've got the photos of that. Okay, fine. I can't get up here, right? Oh. Do I need... where are you? There we are, okay, so now I'm looking down. So if I do that... nope. You're looking up. Alright. So now what I need... is I need you to be looking down. Yeah, okay, there's me. Alright, so now if I look away... You stay there. Alright. So now I walk on here. I can only go part way up. And I need to look away. I need you to come down. Alright, yep. And then I go up. And then I... Oh, damn it, I was going to say I need to get a photograph. Okay. I'm going to keep looking at you now. Ah, oh, damn it. Right. Bottom. Up. No, 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 no. 
Don't want you to up there. Don't want you to 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 there. Come on. Oh, you can't appear where the photograph is, I bet. Right, because I need to be able to walk all the way up. Right. <sighs> well, I hope there's nothing exciting I need to know for being... Because I'm very about to be exploded, and I'd have to find my way back here to the very north. <sighs> and I can't... No, it's two times gravity. I know what I've got to do. And I guess I need to come back here and do it. There we go, dead again. Because I need to take a photograph of the bit. So that it keeps the crystal in one place. Then I need to walk up to the thing. Then I need to make the other crystal appear in the place where I can walk to. And then I've got to make the first crystal disappear and appear in a new place. So I can make my way up. Which makes sense in my mind, even if I'm explaining it badly. So I'm not sure how to get to the quantum moon, or even if I've seen the quantum moon. I mean, I'm learning all these things about how quantum works. into the atmosphere and then I want to go to the north. This is Groover or Feldspar or whoever it is. There, that's what I want to go. That one. That's the museum, of the thingy of quantum. thought it was going to be, or I am not getting in the way I thought I was going to get in, because I thought this was going to lead me to the, um, the center, how to get down, but obviously that's not it, so I need to go to wherever they were going to talk about that. Quantum stuff is a big mechanic. Well, I'm glad I'm learning about it. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, the quantum is how the computer remembers stuff as well, isn't it? Or is it not the quantum, it's something else? No, it can't be the quantum. Because 
That would only be there. All right, hey there. There's the wandering arch down the arch. Understood. Oxygen tanks refilled. Find the wandering arch. Keep your eyes on it. Make sure you don't accidentally not look at it. Don't blink. Don't blink. That's the thing that it does its stuff. Don't care about you doing your stuff. Get a picture of the arch. Oh, now you're never going to be able to... Oh, no, you can't see the arch. I don't think you'd be able to from there. Alright, I'm curious. Oh, no, okay. Okay, yeah. Right, so... Oh, I can't untake the snapshot, can I? Can I get a snapshot of it not in there? All right, and the scout stays with it. All right, that's good to know. Now, just rotate yourself enough to... Oh. No. How do I rotate you enough to get a picture of the... All right, there we go. There's a picture of it. Go down. You come with me. I don't care about you. The things will never naturally meet. Right. So, on this wall. Right? Yes. All right. Now there you are. Ah! Oh! Why? Why did you put away my? I don't know why you put it away. And that will be able to see the top of the arch as well, should it get there. Right. Now, just take a photo. There we go. Now I can do that. Fall immediately down the hole. Ignore big old quantum statue. Fall down the hole. Right. Okay, now I need to keep both of you in view. He said, immediately losing view of both of them. Right. Get a photo of. No, that's the top. There's me. Right, so now I've got the orientation. Okay, so I want you to go... And that's the one at the top. There, that. Now you will always see that one. Right. Now, that is both of them. So now I can walk two thirds of the way up the wall. Now I need to be looking at this one.
cool. <clears throat> Not cool. So close. There we go, that's got both of them. Right now I need to recall the thing. I need to be looking at you. Give me a photo of me. There's me. Oh, there's that one. Right then, I need you to disappear. Aha. Then I want. There we go. And now I can get to the top. Huzzahs! Oh. down the arch. Now I can learn exciting things. Okay, you're quantum. Is there anything else in here that is quantum related? Doesn't look like it right now. Not sure how to get out. Jump down that hole? That seems likely. Oh, is this the water? Well, let's not jump down there just before I've translated the thing, see? We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Oh, okay. Our curiosity goes with you on the journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Okay. You're not making any noises. That's interesting. All right. Yeah, okay, and this is the water pool. Okay, so that's what that pool was for. All right. Okay, well, I've learned a lot of things there. But, not what I thought I was going to learn. Yeah, I need to get to the tracking module, which I just cannot get to. Alright, let's look at you first of all. So how knowledge of now am I had to help his or first quantum journey, observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. And my record these the rule of quantum imaging. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Alright, so Riddle Hollow's equator. Hourglass twins, which I haven't even visited. And Timber Hearth. Oh, well, maybe I will not leave my home planet next loop. Rockham remains of the Namai space station in orbit around Giant Steep. There are three accessible branching, three access, way, access ways branching off the central hub area. The orbit broke and I was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. I might push the giant, the orbital probe down above its maximum power settings to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. All right. 
control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. No I named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised, as he only needed to fire the probe once. No I named Pravat countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. And this one was destroyed. One of the probe's cannon's three module probe, probe no. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. Anyway, I thought the probe tracking module would be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. Well, presumably that's where I've got to go and see, right? And my computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. I saw the probe tracking module through an Amai projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. You can see purple electricity outside the viewport. Ah, that's where it is. Okay, at the bottom. Alright, ocean depths. Now, Rose says there's a strong current underneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Then Amai and the construction yard saw something sink below it the events they thought it was previously impossible. The island where the Amai beat the Broke cannon. For some reason, I might put the orbital probe cannon on an indefinite hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to the NOMI computer, a long range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. Now, I had the observation constructed the model of a giant's deep that revealed how an object might sink below the strong current. So, I need to go to the southern observatory. Now, I decided there are two paths beneath Brittle Hollow. Right, the other starts at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. So I need to go to the Southern Observatory on Brittle. Oh, wait, is there anything else in here? Oh, there's more down there, yeah. Hmm. Alright. go back and tell what's his face that I found a thing at the place but I think that's whoever's on here Grabo? Gabo? Feldspar? Whatever I forget okay well I need to go to Brittle Hollow I don't know if I've got enough time this loop. Let's at least start to make our way over there. Oh well, definitely don't have enough time. Smash, crash, bash. And to the black hole we go. Well, I am so good at this stuff. Alright, you're not going to tell me where the... Oh, wait a second. I've broken the entire thing. Right, I was just going to say, you're not going to tell me where the uh, disaster is? I have found where the disaster is. It is me. I am the disaster. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm going to try and plunge into the sun again before the big explosion this time. I mean, 
It's such a big target, I can't miss, right? I can't miss, can I? I didn't miss. Thumbs up for succeeding at my goals. Uh. All right. Well, maybe one more loop. I die immediately. Oh, right. I was gonna stay. Alright, I need to get in the cave. Yeah. I don't. Eh, maybe I will need that, but yeah. Timber Hearth. The quantum signal. Yep. That is what I want. Coming from somewhere on here. Uh, can I... No, I can't. Right, yeah. I can't look around to try and find it. Right. It's the red one that I want. Somewhere on the surface. Nope. You know what? You just stay right here. I will go investigate. At a wild frequency? No, I need to be down. Right. Right back. Build spar. It's not the quantum tower that I've already discovered, is it? Let's go to the north. Let's go to the north pole type thing. I don't know if quantum towers... I'm going south. Alright, let's go to the south pole then. I don't know if... Quantum towers... Disappear. this he said not quite making it to the destination he said he was going to let me up church research notes property of church I detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it. Hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Alright, well I know how to land on it. Or I don't know how to land on it, but I know that I will need a picture of it so that I can, so that it will be there when I'm observing to try and land. Alright, I don't know whether this is the smart thing to be doing to be going in here. I mean, the answer is invariably no. Yes, unidentified. Right. In that general direction. Aha! Can I... Ha ha! Don't care if you're not there anymore. Hmm. If I put this away... No, the photo goes away as well. Alright, okay. 
But now I'm observing you. There we go, Grove Shard. Alright. Nope, not what I wanted to do, sorry. There we go. I'll just keep that while I look around. I haven't... I mean, that can't be all of the thing, can it? That can't be everything that I was meant to be doing down here. Across Old Ark, it's always dark, in the ancient glade, the quiet shade. Oh well, I updated the ship's log somehow. Cross old bark, it's always dark. In the ancient glade, the quiet shade. Do I need to move you to a particular place? just looked and seen what's in here. Let's not fall to the centre of the planet. That's how I died the very first time. Alright, Scout, I retrieve you. Alright, now I move away. Oh, you're still there. Now the tree has moved. But where are you? You're over there. Now you should have moved again. No, you didn't move. That's interesting. I definitely can't see you when I'm looking at this tree. Now you're closer. Now you've disappeared entirely. Oh no, now you're there. Okay. I don't know what to do with you. If anything, if I'm just meant to discover hay. Oh, sorry. I am bad at, pay, bad at paying attention to the chat. I really should pay better attention to it. Alright, so I have found you. I can't I don't know that I can do anything with you. Unless I'm just meant to, you know, measure the quantum fluctuations and get the sound from everything. I mean, I got... If I can get back to my ship, my ship's log was updated. I mean, maybe that will tell me more information about what I learned and how I understand things. Ah... <sighs> The answer is probably not. Because I understand nothing. Except all of the things that I do understand. Now to try and remember where I parked my ship. And not to look at the thing on my screen which says ship this direction. <sighs> There is something neat you can do, but that would be spoilers. Alright. Well, I'm glad you told me there was something neat I could do. I mean... I want to stand on top of it and then close my eyes, but I don't think that... I don't think that would work. I don't know how that would behave because I'd still be in contact with it and am I actually observing it when I am when I can feel its presence through my feet that would be an excellent idea well maybe I'll go back and do that let's just see what you have for quantum grove it's a strange rock shard in the grove that moves when I'm not 
watching. It emits a signal of a quantum fluctuation frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. Yeah, I did. Chet's research note went, it's a quantum moon that no Harthian has been able to land on. Alright. Well, let's refill the fuel and then go back. And let's try standing on it. If you know, I can find it again. Which obviously I can't. quite at the South Pole last time, was it? Oh. Because it is, and I'm just bad at remembering things. I mean, as I always say, tell me your name, and exactly how to get to you, and I will never ever find you, and I will forget exactly who you are. Alright! Get me a photo of... there we go. Huh. Maybe I need you... right. Alright. Yeah, and then I will use the water to propel myself high enough to get over there. And land on you. Ow. Well, that didn't quite work. Maybe I can just jump up there. That's even a bit simpler. Alright. Now I'm standing on top of you. Alright. Scout. Come back. So it's not like the it's not like the teleporty things where you can where it's well maybe it is where it happens when it's oh, on the top of you no I mean that isn't okay so when I am touching it it does not move because there I just jumped and it disappeared all right. Hmm. Oh. No, okay, because... Oh, come back. I was going to say, I can do that and attach the scout to it, and then the scout will move with it. But that doesn't help... Wait, there's another poem. This is the one I saw before. In the ancient plain, it's always dark. Across old bark, a quiet shade. And then there was something else written over here. Or is it the same thing? It's the same thing. Across old bark, a quiet shade, it's always dark. In the ancient plain. No, wait. Wait, is the... Is the poem teleporting? And it's changing its order. Across Old Bark in the Ancient Glade it's always dark in the quiet shade. Yeah, now it's over there. And it says it's always dark across Old Bark, the quiet shade in the Ancient Glade. I want you to take a picture of the poem, but I don't quite, I mean, okay, you're not a thing that I can actually latch you onto. Alright, does that prevent the quantum thing from moving as well? No. 
It's always dark across Old Bark. And quite shade in the ancient glade. Right, so obviously you can... Okay, come back. Then you've gone. It's always dark across Old Bark. The ancient glade, the quiet shade. In the ancient glade, there's always dark, the quiet shade across Old Bark. Hmm. Indeed, a quantum poem. That keeps changing. I don't know whether this is important or not. I assume so. Right, if I... I get a picture of you. And then... I don't know if I can get you lit up by putting the poem next to you? Somehow? Wait, all the trees disappeared. Maybe this is just too much for me right now. Maybe I'm doing this the wrong way round and I need the poem to stay still in a particular place and then make the quantum move to it. And the quantum fragment, I don't know. Old bark, quite shade in the ancient glade, it's always dark. I mean, you've got a lantern there, so it's not always dark. Does that tree always remain there? Because it's got a photo of the tree. I mean, all the other trees jump around. I don't know. Oh! I think I need to know more before I can... do stuff. So... As I said, this is my one last loop before stopping streaming for the day. So, no, damn it. Why would you come out just as I was gonna fall down to see the center of the earth? Or oh, timber hearth, not the earth. <laughs> we'll die that way instead. Thumbs up, would we'll die again. You can't solve it. All right. Is that in, as in, I cannot solve the poem because I am too dumb and have not learned all of the things I should have learned yet? Or is it because it is not possible to solve the poem? Because, you know, poems aren't things that can be solved. They're <gasps> things to be admired and enjoyed. Good loop, good loop. Thank you. Ah... <sighs> No, oh, yes, as I said, does it make a difference either way? <laughs> Not really. <sighs> well, there we go. As I said, that was going to be the last loop for today. For I swap over to the exciting ending screen. Wow, look at all those stars. I'm glad there aren't that many stars to visit in uh, Outer Worlds. Otherwise, I would never get this done. As it stands, I might never get it done anyway. Puzzle's too hard, brain too small, but still, there we go.
<sighs> Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you, whether live and in person, or later on on the VOD. Watching any amount of this is just amazing. Thanks very much for doing that. I don't know why you do it. I am patently very bad at games. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is point and click Tuesday, so we'll be doing something in the point and click type genre. I'm not sure what exactly now, because I was going to do the Outer Worlds as that sort of puzzly solvey thing, but we played that today instead, so who knows. Talk to Gabbro about it. Hmm. Alright. I will ask Gabbro about what we should play tomorrow. Well, until then, I have been Richard, and this whole thing has been LMTDTMFFR, or is that with me now? Limited time offer, no vowels. And you all, you all have fun.